Just three days ago, chaos almost broke out at the seaside primary school ground when angry group parents had an argument with the school principal until the acting inspector Joseph Martin was called to the scene. The parents' anger was fueled by the lack of placement and combined multi-grade 1 and 2 class for Rukwangali learners. Stefana said the group representing the right of Rukwangali speaking parents refused the multi-grade system introduced at the school. They submitted a list of 24 names last year and um, when the school start um, the principal realized that, but the parents are not forthcoming. Um, according to the information that I had is that um, from the 24 uh, parents who submitted names, only four learners or four parents were part of that group. So um, the spokesperson indicated that but there are 31 parents there, meaning that there should be 31 learners then. Um, for this specific year. Stefanis says there are seven languages that are taught in schools in the region. All are treated equally and none are discriminated against. We should also indicate that um, the principal and the inspector explain to the group that if the learners are less then they should have multi-grade, uh, introduce multi-grade, meaning that you combine the grade one learners with the grade two, which I understand that the parents refused because they want a separate grade one for their learners. Now, that we cannot allow because we are handling all the languages, Ochi Herero, Ochi Kwanyama, Kwe Kwe Kowa, all the other languages that we have, close to seven languages that we are offering in our region, the same. Stefan Irab, NBC News, Swakopmund.